Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review Season 3 of The Boys. And we're back. Homelander is horrible as ever, and you have the Seven trying to piece things back together, and fought in quite an interesting spot. But then you have The Boys, who have been pushed to some new lengths with uh, Billy Butcher, Carl Urban's character, going as far as finding drugs that give you superpowers for a limited time, and him and Huey wind up utilizing things to try to finally take down Homelander and find a weapon to destroy him in the form of Soldier Boy. And Soldier Boy is a very interesting addition to this series, and Jensen Ackles is great. As this piece of crap just, ho like, sexist, homophobic, racist, like, everything potentially bad about, like, the greatest generation is him. And it's all rolled up into one. And he is such a terrible person. And he's so funny, though. And he has a very specific warped sense of masculinity and stuff like that. And... His whole shtick of, like, the anti-Captain America really works. And it's... This season pushes a lot of these characters into some new ground with um, Butcher and Huey compromising, taking on these powers, and it alienates um, Starlight. And Erin Moriarty gets a lot of great moments in this season as she's... She is, like, the good, the good person in this series trying to do the right thing, take down Homelander. And, of course, Anthony Starr is perfect as always as Homelander. He is disgusting and disturbing, and you see more and more cracks this season, especially towards the end. And you also see he has some interesting motivations that wind up not quite giving him humanity, but giving him a bit of humanity and putting him at odds with some of the other characters and there's some great action in this season and there's a that big fight that everybody got really excited about between uh butcher soldier boy and homelander and the, even the finale episode went in some some directions that i expected a bunch of people to die but there was a lot of moments where it was just like a lot of stakes and permanent things happening to some of these characters and really getting a lot more depth to almost all the characters. You get elements of like Butcher being challenged with his connection to his wife's son, aka Homelander's child. You have Huey pushing the boundaries of how far he'll go to actually s stop Homelander and what he thinks is right to protect Starlight when she doesn't want him to protect her. She just wants him. You have Queen Maeve who's pushed into, is she a real hero or is she just trying to get out of this craziness? A-Train has a very interesting thread here as he's trying to redeem himself and also confront a very openly racist uh, hero who's causing a lot of issues in his hometown, including with his brother. And there's elements of like Black Lives Matter movement that pops up here. You have uh, Laz Alonza's Mother's Milk, who he has a very strong motivation for wanting to take down Soldier Boy and he goes on this stream of vengeance and it puts him at odds with his daughter's stepdad who is like a obnoxious Homelander stan and you have the Deep who's trying to be this reformed version of himself but dealing with the fact that he's still drawn to his sea creatures and wanting to do stuff. Uh, Frenchie and Kamiko have their elements as well. There's just so much going on here. We get to learn a lot more about Black Noir and his connection to Soldier Boy. There's a lot of elements in this season, and some of them get more justice than others, but I I feel like they do such a great job of making all of them compelling in some way. 
And I think that's special about this series. And I do feel like some of the elements kind of fell to the wayside, like that politician who's really a soup that we find out at the end of last season doesn't go a whole lot at places in this season, but does set up for next season. This leaves you on quite the stinger at the end. But there's a lot of great action. Um, it really does turn things up to a whole other level with the hero gasm episode and the whole uh, blow, uh, shrinking into somebody's butt uh, gag at the beginning of the season and one particular cam show featuring a ridiculous cameo. So, like, there's elements that go, like, way beyond what we've seen so far in The Boys, and The Boys goes places. But I do think that it balances these characters with a lot of different elements they're working with. The whole cast is great, and there's some stakes here. And I do, I did expect a little bit more stakes, but you can tell where this series is going, and it's getting really far into, like, actual politics of today. And the culture that's rising that supports Homelander no matter what he does is very reminiscent of a very of a, another figure in real life who rose to power despite all the despicable things that they did. And it's just like, wow. I think it's making a lot a lot of fans of one particular uh, political ideology very upset and they're just realizing now that this is a very biting perspective on like fascism and stuff like that because Homelander's a fascist um, but the series just keeps soaring it's crazy it's ridiculous and it's one of the most compelling shows on television if you could get past the violence and the blood and the guts and the sex and all that stuff if you're adverse to that there's some great commentary in this, there's great characters in this, and this season up the ante again, and leaves it even higher, moving into the next season with where the hell this show is going to go, and I'm still excited for it. But those are my thoughts on season three of The Boys. Let me know what you think, and let's talk some TV. But thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.